So, I started a new career with real scale solar system, realism overhaul, because I said, screw it, I'm going to go for the gold. I already went through the first couple missions just to skip through the boring part. We are now at exit the atmosphere. That is what our goal is to do. Um, I've done a little bit of science. That's where I'm at science-wise. And I have managed to upgrade mission control and the launch pad once each. Don't have anything built. No tech unlocking. And I do have, actually have a couple upgrades to spend. Alright. So let's see if there's anything we can do to get some extra money. I, I don't think there is. So we are going for exit the atmosphere. Tell you the truth, I'm not super duper sure on uh, where the end of the atmosphere is. But I'm going to give it my best shot. That's way too big. Can I shrink that down enough to fit? Why, yes, I can. <coughs> and just for giggles, I'm going to do something like this. It should also help keep it stable on the launch pad. That'll work. And I don't think I have any nose cone. Can I shrink it? By George, yes I can. I'm just going to go for Atlas because it looks nice. I'm going to change that to block 2. and save. Gonna go ahead and launch one of those. And I'm gonna start working on a second design because I'm not sure that that one's gonna get gonna get us there. I think I'm gonna want a balloon. That way hopefully I don't have to deal with the uh, the sloshing of fuel as much. That one should work. Now can I find an appropriate engine? That's going to be the real test. I'm not sure I have an appropriate engine for this. In fact, I'm almost certain that I don't. But I am going to get this ready to come back down. That one's actually a wee bit big. I think I'm going to do that so that I can stick some stuff to the side and have it protected. somewhat protected. Let me squeeze that in just a bit. Throw a couple thermometers. That's probably going to be way too big, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, yeah, that's way too large. I can use a couple of these though. And I need some sort of communication. So then, this will be, actually nah, nah, I don't like that. I don't like that, so we're going to use something different. Just notice that I have this, which should work as a, a pretty decent little pod. I can throw one of these in here, and that takes up most of the room. So I'm actually going to want two of these. Throw that one in the bottom. And I don't have any power yet. Okay. So I guess I'll put these on the side as well. Might need to check in remote tech to see that it's got both of those being added together. And in this top one will be the science. So I've got two of each of those. What parachute will work? That that just looks goofy for some that looks even goofier. So I guess we're gonna go with these. And I well I suppose that one should be fine for the top. What is what is this bug? That's way too large. Way too large. Way too large. Entirely too large. I feel like I'm gonna have this problem a lot. I'm just not going to be building big enough. Well, I love how it's given me the fairings and no ring to attach them to. Alright then. This is what I shall do. Holy crap, 9.4, that is insane. Where is the burn time, burn time? All right, I wanna put some fins on here. And then I'm gonna put some smaller SRBs just to get it off the pad and get it going at, some, at a decent speed. I'll just use some of these that are smaller. I think I'll go for about 30 seconds on those. Yeah, that gives a nice thrust of weight. Three 
360, and I want Atlas, a gray side org. Yeah, cool. Oh, deflection in the other direction, please. And let me scoot those down. Ah, oh, one too many parts, really. One too many. Fine, I'll have a single drogue shoot instead. That make you happy? Block one. Vehicle one. Flight one. And we're going to save that. Kind of close these now. No. Well, if I can't close them, I don't want them open all the way. So save that, overwrite, and build two of them. So let's see how this first one does. Apparently, the DLC for Kerbal Space Program is on sale. If that seems like your kind of thing, you might want to go get it. Those should have the same burn time. Alright. Let's get after it. Ah. Nice. Repair. Well, I don't think I'm going to be going real far like that. Although it's about to hit one, so I should hopefully maybe be able to uh, be facing up. It's going to be a failure. <laughs> Just because that first one failed. I'm going to do this beautiful spiral to the ground. And now we're going to slide across the ground for a little bit. I may have broke the game. Huh? Hey, you can turn them off. Okay. I'm just going to go for a normal recovery. That's a rocket of the past. We don't need that no more.
Got a little bit of science from it. Still needing to escape the atmosphere. I believe escape the atmosphere means get over the Carmen line, which should be a hundred kilometers. Nice and easy to remember. While I'm sitting here. Ah, I don't want it to be perfectly efficient. There we go. All right, roll that thing out. We gonna go ahead and launch it. I don't care if it's the middle of the night. science program out I think I'm just gonna keep those I'll shoot for the moon not gonna hit the moon but we're gonna shoot for it Surprisingly, I've not lost much electric charge from sending those. So let's ditch those. We're going to keep on going, hopefully. Slowing down due to arrow. And I believe that our parachute has failed. Awesome. As long as that main don't fail, we're alright. Just stuck riding this bitch out right now. Well, I see that these also haven't closed. sent back. We're gonna exit the atmosphere and probably not be able to come back in and land. So I'm definitely gonna want to send all of this back as soon as I can. Awesome though, there's ground stations all over the place. It's a good sight. I believe that should be... no? That's not the Carmen line? We're gonna find out where it's at. Not 130. There it is, 140. Send all that science back. We have done that objective. Still want to keep that out, just keep an eye on the electricity. Don't have that open. I'm going to have this open. Because we are now 
just coming back down. I am not sure that it's going to make it to the ground without... I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to pull the parachutes. There's the re-entry heating. <laughs> oh god. Aerodynamic stress? Really? The fins failed for aerody aerodynamic stress. Okay. Whatever you say. able to actually recover it, surprisingly, provided this parachute actually pops. There it is. All right. Honestly, surprised that we did not run out of electric charge during that. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate that. Hey, how's it going? I want the rocketry and the science. Don't have enough for that. But the flight control might be worth it. I'm not doing too bad. I'm sure that you'll probably see how bad I suck at this game in a, in a few minutes. There's a reason I had a second one being built, because I didn't think that first one would actually... I didn't think I'd be able to be successful with that first one. Now we're going to try and do an orbit. And enough money to upgrade that. You play much Kerbal, Bob? Uh, I'm gonna need to wait for that new tech. You ever tried real, real scale solar system? It kind of messes with me because all the uh, all the altitudes that I'm used to are are different. Wrong building. Oof. You got any tips? Any tips besides more Kerbal? Tell you what, I, I think I like that little pod that I had. The 
with that one. Yeah. Even if I can't close it, doesn't really matter. Just do it. The mortal words of a uh, convicted murderer, I believe. have any more appropriate sized engines for this. I don't think I do. Alright, so we're just going to scrap this and start from new. My lord, that's a beast. Seems like that might be the engine I need for the upper stage. That thing's gonna be way too powerful. Not that one. That one. Oh. It, uh, why? I don't, <laughs> I don't get why the connection's that far away. I don't understand what's happening here. I'm not gonna use that one. I feel like that might just be asking for trouble. <laughs> Looks like I'm stuck with just SRBs, I guess. I don't know, that one, that one, I think I can make this one work. I should probably check what kind of fuel it needs. Kerosene liquid oxygen. Gonna have the coolest rocket in the land, too. Looking for just two. There it is. Ooh, and it's perfect sized. I guess I should probably make that able to be separated, huh? I really like using that one. Should have plenty of parts now, yeah. multi-spectral scanner unlocked. I don't get that. We finally have some decent batteries though. Yeah, 
let's just let's limit that just a wee bit. And for funsies, let's throw it down here even. Just to keep things nice and separated. And I think that's going to be me calling the payload done. So there's the upper stage. Do have monoprop. Good. Good, 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 good. Point oh two. Point oh oh eight. Point oh four. These are going to be the ones I'm going to use. Forgot I need a monoprop tank. God, it's not just called monoprop. All right, let's find something. Man, I thought that said survey sub E. Do I need a different tank? I think that one will work. Thank you, I. Oh, what? Still not. Okay. Hold on. This is just nitrous oxide. That should be nice and easy. One thing. And I'm not seeing it. There it is. Nitrous oxide. Boom. Cool. Nitrous oxide. Do I have. I think I have to do it with these. Nitrous oxide. Alright. Oh, I might have just needed to change that first. Okay. Alright, so there's our upper stage. Got a way to make sure it's all pressured before we go and hit the engine. Ground only. That won't work. One ignition, subject to eulage. I think that's going to be the one that I need. Actually, I don't want to really have to use RCS for eulage. Just 
Let's go for a custom, custom, couple custom Eulage motors. I can even change the deflection a bit. So then, that one and those fire, and then that fires. Actually, I'm change that to about 15 seconds. Make sure I have a big enough window to actually hit it. start working on the main tank. So diameter two. Let's go for like fifteen. And I'm actually going to move the decoupler down under this so that I'm not dragging the weight of the giant tank behind me while I'm up here. Why do you look so goofy now? I think I'm actually going to want to probably strap some parts to an SRV and do a couple tests first just to make sure parachutes are going to work when I need them to. Is that the right size? Almost. it'd probably be wrong to uh, to just jump to the best one, wouldn't it? Get the right mixture in there, and that's not enough. So I'm going to need something roughly twice as strong as that. about that. I may need some sort of SRB to help it get up off the ground. The nose fire with that. That fires. I actually want to move that up one more. And then the drogue, or, yeah, drogue shoots down. Alright. And I am going to need a little bit of SRB to get it up. So let's get some winglets on it first. Coupler. There it is. Mm. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave it at 1 in diameter, but I think I am going to put it to like 7. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm going to scoot it down. Why would you put the engines there? So I need to throw a nose cone on these. <laughs> and I don't have any launch clamps. So, part of me is kind of scared that these SRBs aren't going to work. and simple. Hopefully, hopefully she goes up. Lock one, vehicle one, light one. save, launch, and I want to build a second one because I don't have faith in myself. Okay, I, I think we can say that's that's not fair. Like, why is my rocket flipping from the start? That's not right. Yeah, that's not... That's not right. Come on. See you later, Bob. I, I think that's what that means, yeah? At least I got some science out of it, I guess. Scrap the fuck out of that one. How much this thing cost? That's it? Well, 
Why is the burn time so weird? groups right fast. Abort. I don't think I need to see either of those. No, you can't really shut those down. It's a decent abort setup. All I should probably also hit the parachutes in here. Well, that is some very specific things you can change. So this will be vehicle three, because the first one blew up. So vehicle two don't work, uh, vehicle three hopefully should. See if I can make figure out a way to make it a little bit more stable on the launch pad itself. So I'll start with some of these. Rotated. There we go. Okay. And one more right there. All right. And that should make it nice and stable. actually tell you what. I want to set it coming off that one. have a little bit better luck with it coming off the center engine and not the SRBs because the SRBs are what I'm going to fire first to make sure that they actually ignite. Nah, I don't think I need to. I don't think it's going to have a whole whole lot of spool up time. And I'm just going to save this as a launch stabilizer in subassemblies. I 
and make sure it disappears and save the edits here and you go put them on vehicle 3 as well so VAB vehicle 3 edit Subassemblies, stabilizer, and clunk. I'm hoping that works to keep it somewhat stable on the pad. <laughs> Everything in my brain tells me that that should work. If not, like permanently, at least temporarily. something real quick. We're going to roll that out to the pad and launch. See if we can't get this to orbit. Already flipping. <sighs> so it didn't work. That was an incredibly fast failure. got an idea, but it's kind of silly. So, the idea is ditch all of that, and we're going to take these and stick them right there, just above the fins, and we are now going to make some launch supports. Alright, 
So, where is the root part? Get it to the ground so we can get some nice distance measurements. I think that might actually work pretty good. Now, to ensure that it comes off and moves out of our way, we're going to do some tiny little boosters on these. And when I say tiny, I mean like tiny. And deflection. And that should do. And then I need this done four times. Nah. So then, I'm actually just going to make its own group. And I'm even going to push that out one more just so the bar there it's a little bit weighted on this side to help those push down and pull it away so that it can clear the fins upon launch just checking through staging again real fast want to make sure that I set throttle open a little bit Do and that one. RCS, they break off. Oh, that won't do. Those should be lower. They should be about right there, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the wrong one. Right there. So that those pop. Then we got SRBs in the main engine, and then the SRBs fall off. So that separates those eulage fires, second stage engine fires, and we've got RCS that separates and parachutes for the return. I'm hoping that this sort of helps for launch support. I don't have any struts that I can use. So let's save that and see if it works. Good to go. Roll it on out. I'm going to try and wait till daytime. There it is. Man, the sun looks so much smaller in real solar, in real scale solar system. Let's launch this thing. Hopefully it doesn't flip on the pad again. I 
I want to try and get this set before it even really frickin' loads. Hey, 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 it worked this time. Not perfectly, but well enough. I'm actually probably going to have to just hit all of this as one group here. So, hopefully, no failures. Two failures. Even those aren't aren't actually pushing it all the way. Just ride it out, I guess. Ride it out and see if I can't recover that to not lose all of the money. My launch stand has worked beautifully, though. Every one of them. I guess I probably should have waited to ditch the launch stand. But I, I think I felt like it was already flipping. Oh, we've come to a stop. Almost. And the engines are off. Uh, I guess to the VAB, we're just going to scrap it, and I've discovered that I need to widen the launch stands just a bit. I should probably just make the launch stands as wide as, as room allows for. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even going to bother with waiting to have that recovered. So, let's get in here and hit three. And we're going to open that. We're going to add two to each side, both inside the strut and outside the strut. Wrong one. Ah, and now with is a problem, huh? So let's remove one from here. Is that fix your problem? Okay. Now these, I'm actually going to center in that one just a wee bit. Um, I mean, I suppose I could probably make like a strut going up the side. Although, really, for that, I might as well just do that. And then just make these longer. Hey, 
Hey, almost like I measured it. Um, I'm actually going to remove these. I think I'm just going to stick a big old heavy weight out here. Not intended to hold fuel. Perfect. Big old chunk of lead will work perfectly. Lead ballast. Oh, tank UI. Hide. Alright. Um What's your problem now? Okay, I'll remove another one. I wanna remove it from from the inside though. Alright. I think it'll deal with that. Although now I kinda wanna move these to about right there. Alright, so I'm gonna wait to jettison those until I know all of those launch. Then those, that one, that one, those, that one, and then shoot, shoot. Alright, well, uh, I guess this is number four. And build it. And I'm going to build a number five as well. As soon as the game decides to stop freaking out. There's four and five. I was pretty sure that I had saved that. I hope, I hope that one of these frickin' stays upright. You can just get scrapped. And finish vehicle four. Roll it out. If I can get these SRBs to not fail on the launch pad, I can get this thing into the air. I'm honestly halfway tempted to just make some launch vehicles to where I'm just building SRBs to get them built good so that they, the part failure chance decreases so that I can actually use them. This one fails, it's probably what I'm going to do. Alright, well, it's staying upright at least. Don't want to add too much throttle and actually take off. At least until I know, well, if any of them don't light, I probably can't take off. They all lit. And still not going nowhere. Ah, thrust the weight calculation was wrong. See if I can't manage to get the abort to save it. Uh, nope. Nope. Not even. Not, well. I guess a small part of it. Got a 
breakdance and command pod now. I think it's speeding up. I have no idea how to get this thing to stop. That seems to have only made it worse. I am so very confused. I'm about to do some test vehicles just to get these engines to work good. I'm, I'm not sure why I had a problem on that one. Oh. Seems Corporal Space Program has crashed. I guess let's restart that. And while that restarts, I'm going to take a short break.
let's continue to fail, I suppose. Did I did have another one. I wanted to do a test vehicle though. <coughs> I'm tired of having these part failures. So our test vehicle is going to be super duper simple. Make that two meters by uh, like eight, I guess. Burn time there. I want to put some winglets on it. I want to also attach a few more. Just going to be a super simple test vehicle. And in here, we're going to have the control equipment. So arrow B. Inline reaction wheel. I don't need the mech jet pod. Um, I guess I'm gonna ditch the fins for when I come back down so that I can be somewhat stable. I actually want to make a impromptu landing gear as well. Just a wee bit. Okay, I think that might be an alright landing gear. Um, where can I put the fins to not fuck myself? I think the fins are gonna have to go on these. Or actually, actual, actual, actually, I can put that there, and this on. Yeah. All right. So there's all that. I want to put a couple of these batteries in to get some testing done on them. Um. I also want to get a little bit of information on these. Which will mean I need another tank. HTP. And I need that two. One. Boom. Make it match. Alright, I 
I think that might be a good test vehicle. Block one, big one, light one. And I do want to be able to cover this so I can get the information from the stuff. So some parachutes and those down there need some nose cons. Alright, I think that's a pretty decent test vehicle. I want to move the impromptu landing gear down just a touch. And I'm going to tilt those in a wee bit. Save. Vehicle 1, Vehicle 2, Vehicle 3, we're going to do, eh, 3 should be plenty, 3 should be plenty enough. We're going to get rid of all these launch failures we've been having, one way or another. And I'm going to start a second production line. So another day and the first test is done. Done being built. I'm going to roll that out. And we're going to launch that. My goal is to make it to orbit today. Alright, I forgot to do all of the staging on this. Actually, no, I want that down. And then, which one of you is the drogue shoots? Those. Okay, that should be the whole thing. And we're just going to point it straight up. I believe we are ready for launch. Ah. those. Like I said, I ain't going to deal with these launch failures anymore. Cut the feet right off from under it though so I don't go too high up.
nice and slow. Wonder what planets those are. Those are almost out. really start slowing down. There they are out. He's slowing down really fast. RCS seems to be working pretty well. Approaching zero speed. Accelerating again, don't want that. I'd like to try and keep the fins if I can. I'm really more or less just trying to get this SRV to burn out before we hit the ground. We are going down, so I'm going to go ahead and pop the drogue chutes, the three that are still functioning. Oh, well, four of them popped. Okay. One had a failure. I saw that. I think the fins are starting to become a problem. RCS is trying to work. It's still got tons of altitude. It's been making a sphere of cloud up here in the sky. <laughs> One of you had the had a problem here. You. What was your problem? All right, I think that SRB is getting ready to burn out now. test vehicle worked pretty frickin' well. And we are now going downward through our own plume. Should be getting almost empty, yeah. So 
we're just going to speed up our descent. Those fins are definitely causing problems. I'm going to go ahead and pop the other parachutes. Oh lord. Where am I landing? I'm just going to go ahead and open this. Ooh, wee. Oh, don't blow up. Don't blow up. Please don't blow up the building. Please don't blow up the building. I'm fine with losing the nose cone. Got a few more testers to run just to try and get through all of the failures. Roll that one out. Launch. I'm going to let this one get after it. So then, those should be the last ones. Those should be the first. Don't really need that. Yep, that's what I was expecting. All it takes is one. That is exactly why I've got these testers running. I really wish I had launch clamps, because I would just pin it down and then it could fail all at once and nothing would explode. Go ahead and finish that one. Roll it out. <clears throat> and launch. Do the staging again. Those and that one, these and that one. Click that so it's nice and compact. Don't need throttle. And there is another one failing. Yay! All right, so I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna do a different test vehicle.
it seems like it's only ever these small ones that are failing. I feel like the rest of it has been tested quite a bit and should be alright. These small ones though are not happy. Surprised that our whole fit. These should be cheaper and easier to launch too, especially as a test. seconds should be plenty of burn for it. if I can. Whiskey tester. Block two. Vehicle one. Save. Build. Vehicle two. Build. Vehicle three. Build. Now I will get these SRBs to behave. And roll the first one out. <clears throat> Launch. Okay. So then, let me just use kill rotation. What in the world is this bullshit? Wait, wait, wait. I think I know what that bullshit is. I think I still have the deflection of them on. Oops. You know, I felt like there was something I was missing. So I guess let me go in here and change all of those. I did. Silly me. All right. Ah, uh, need to edit this one too. Vehicle three of block two.
and deflection to zero. Save edits. This next one should fly fine. No upgrades. <clears throat> and roll it out. Alright, I think I'm good to go this time. Don't need throttle, don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh yeah, here we go. are wonky with it. Okay. I will call that a successful test. Oh, I heard parachute snap. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty circles. And let's just skip on down to the ground. Don't really care what direction of up you, you go for, just stay up. Two VAB, it worked wonderfully. Uh, I did just restart on the on a real scale solar system realism overhaul. Uh, I've also got got part failures, uh, an inventory mod, and a few other mods. Uh, it's not that I just just started. I keep having problems with SRBs failing to light, and I'm tired of launching the big expensive rockets trying to get to orbit. So I'm trying to uh, make use of the part failure mod to where uh, you have used the same part a bunch of times and the reliability slowly goes up. So that's what I'm attempting to do is push the reliability of the solid rocket boosters up. This is the second version of the little test rockets that I've made, trying to push the reliability of these up. And I don't think it's going to let me refuel it. So, I'm just going to scrap that. So, scrap that, yes. Gonna do this tester and then I'll I'll launch my orbital rocket and see if the boosters want to work.
probably have a little bit too much roll control on this thing. that another successful test. I hopefully shouldn't land on top of the building there. And normal recovery. So now I'm going to try and launch my orbital booster or orbital rocket to fulfill the orbit earth contract and hope that the SRBs on the side don't decide to fail again. So roll that big bitch out. and launch it. It was flipping over on the pad too, so I had to do my own version of a launch clamp. That's what all this on the side is. And those are the boosters that keep failing. Let's run through staging real quick just to be sure. Alright. They worked. But there's not enough for us. Yay, I'm terrible at the game. Oh, here it goes flipping over again. So I definitely need to just throw some more thrust to it. Uh, I didn't hit the abort button fast enough. Well, the SRBs worked this time at least. As this thing just goes hurtling away. Boing. 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 I'm not sure it's going to stop anytime. So I'm going to build one more, one more rocket. Only this time I'm going to, I'm going to turn the thrust up on those SRVs. Might as well recover that. 
I don't know why it's telling me the wrong thrust to weight ratio when I'm in the VAB though. Because I know I set that to be over 1. Yeah, one point. Why are you deciding to change all of a sudden, dog? Okay. I'll just turn these up. Will a 30 second interval be enough for you? Make sure that it's at 30 seconds and it's not. Thirty seconds. Alright. I don't think I need to stage launch clamps separately because the SRV seem to be working now. This will be vehicle 6, save, launch, and because I know I'm terrible at the game, I'm going to build a 7th one as well. Whenever the game decides to stop freaking out. There it is. So, seven. And launch that one. So now I've got two more attempts. Should have plenty of thrust to wait. Shouldn't be tipping over on the pad. As long as those SRBs fire, I should be alright. No upgrades. Roll it out. I'm not even going to wait till daytime. surface. Let's get that set so that it's nice and locked in. Okay. Oh, provided none of those SRBs fail to fire, we should be going up and we should hopefully hit orbit. So, here goes. Of course they did. But of course one did. I'm really, really thinking about saying screw it and using a different SRB. Let's just, let's try this one. Give this one a go and see how she rolls. Trust me, I'm just as disappointed in myself as you guys are.
I'm hoping one of these times I can get lucky and these SRBs actually fire. I'm going to move my launch clamps back up. So full throttle, SRBs, and they worked this time. Yay, oh yay. Going for orbit. Should should be able to get it this time, as long as it's the main engine it didn't fire. was a good hope, I suppose. SRBs finally frickin' worked. But the main engine failed on me. So I guess what I'm gonna hope for is or what I should change is start the main engine before hidden SRBs. That way it's up and running. No eulage problems or anything like that. Jesus, is it really coming down that fast? I guess fuck the bottom half. Those parachutes didn't work for nothing, I guess. Well, I guess back to the space center to build another. A little bit surprised that it didn't already had a sec have a second one being built. Wait, that was the second one. Never mind. Alright, so move those up. Start that one first. Ground lit only. Um, let me see. Six ninety six. I don't think there's anything more powerful than that. No. So, just gonna make these longer. And I will stick them like that. And then move them back up. some sort of small one on those. So that when I do start going up, I can hit those at the same time as I'm ditching that. So then they should pull that away so that it doesn't bounce off the wing again. I noticed that was a problem. Put 
those all into one group. Okay. <clears throat> Check the burn time. 60 seconds should be good. Alright, so... Vehicle 8. Save. Go ahead and build that one. Come on. Don't crash on me. And vehicle 9. Build that one. And let's work to complete on these. Finish that one up. And roll out. Lunch. I'm feeling lucky this time, guys. I think I can make it. I think everything's going to work out. I feel it. I feel it in me fingertips. And we're launching during the day so we can see everything nice and pretty. Run through staging one last time just to be sure. I wanted those on separate stages. I think I'm groovy. Do I have the wrong kind of fuel in it or something? I've got to. I have got to have the wrong fuel or something. roll this thing back and check it. It's got to be the wrong fuel. Either that or that engine is just broken. Pretty sure it's that engine. LR79. So kerosene, liquid oxygen. Kerosene and liquid oxygen, what the hell?
definitely got the right one. I think I'm going to need to test stand that engine. See what the hell is going on with it. Liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. I'm just going to swap that engine out. A little bit less thrust, but if it works, then I'm not going to complain. I need to move my stands down a bit. And that all the way down to the bottom. And one quick run through staging because it's all kinds of jacked up. All kinds of jacked up. Um, that one goes with those. Yeah. That light. Those combine them till up there. So this needs to come down here. And those need to go down right above the launch stand release. Down one more. Right there. Okay, so it should be fire that one. Make sure it's actually running. Fire those. Make sure they're actually running. Ditch the test the test stand. Uh, ditch the SRBs. Separate, fire eulage, fire second engine, turn RCS on, separate, and then RCS back to Earth. Drogue mains. that should work um, for insurance I'm gonna stick some of these onto here just to make sure it don't go nowhere uh, before I'm ready for it to so let's make it nice and tall and we're gonna put lead in it. Add. Oh. They should all have lead. Okay. Oh, too heavy now, huh? have it that small. There we go. And for maximum effectiveness, I'm going to put it way out here. Um, also make sure that I have the right fuel in this tank, remove tanks, liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen, stick that back on there, and one last run through the staging, because once again it's all kinds of jacked up. So that one first. Pretty sure I said this one first. Boom. Those. That goes up there. So, that one, that one. And then that one. That one needs those. 
and that RCS pops separate need, need that one right above the launch stand which should be that one so main engine SRBs launch stand separate SRB separate separate second stage fire eulage fire main RCS separate for turn and then two parachutes oh, I do have a heat shield I should probably put a heat shield in here huh just for insurance and survivability All right. Uh, I think this. Well, no, it's still eight, isn't it? I didn't fly it. I was smart enough to not just blast off out of the fucking off the pad with the wrong shit. Okay. Save those edits. I don't know why it keeps hanging like that. Yeah, no, it's eight that I want. No, that would be 10, because I guess the last one... No, no. Nah. Nah. Hurry up and finish. Roll it out. Roll it out. Alright. Feeling halfway decent about this one. So I'm going to do it during the daytime. Stop the wibble wobbling. You just chill out right now. So, one ignition remaining. It's fired. Those are on. Ditch those. We are on our way. It is nice to finally be going. It's important for me to not. Eh, nah. Screw it. Full throttle. I gotta make use of what speed I can from the SRV.
I should have been leaning. And ditched SRVs. Oh, ooh, that main engine had me worried. Do something like that. Man, if I don't make it this time, I have royally screwed up somewhere. Separate our eulage. And hit it. Stretch it out, I can make it happen. Um not sure that's where the not sure that's where it's supposed to be coming out from. I had enough in it. Everything we got. Ooh, we're close. We are so close. In fact, we are so close, I'm going to wait a bit until we keep burning. I am amazed that I actually made that. I really did not think I was going to. Uh, too far. I think I fucked it up. I think I forked it up. Yep, I did. I overshot the apoapsis and messed up.
but it doesn't mean that this is completely for naught. It does, though, mean that I'm about to drop out of radio range. So I need to practically get this ready for re-entry. I'm not making it. That is not gonna happen. Yeah, not gonna happen. Ah. Well, I don't have control either. So, this one's just gonna get sent. I'm gonna turn off remote tech throttle and time warp too. Hanging out here until we hit the ground. Then. Eventually get back down to the ground. Actually, I'm not going to sit here and wait for that. It worked though. It was my own incompetence that, that screwed me in the end, but it worked. Edit you, because I know I made changes to vehicle 8 that I did not put on into vehicle 9. And vehicle 8 worked really well, except for my own incompetence. Open Yankee Rocket V8 Load And I'm going to rename that to 9 Fill tanks Save edits And before I put this up in the air, I'm going to take a small break real fast.
reinvigorated. I believe I've got it this time. All right, so let me not go full throttle at first. Running on digital launch clamps. Just rotating, we are heading out of here. Don't make it this time. I can feel it. I'm gonna actually separate some of these out though. Scares me every time it does that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We can shoot for being way the hell up there. See us try and gain a little bit more height. I'm actually going to go ahead and hit the engine too. Fix the engine. Should keep climbing. Oh, had one of the separation boosters fail. Okay.
I could maybe have it. I could maybe. Yes, some too. Got a real chance this time. Got four minutes till it hit the apoapsis. be lying if I said I wouldn't just be a bit, like, anxious about it. shot. sure if we're going to be able to get it or not. Go ahead and just close those for a minute. And we will have signal. RCS burners to do it. Still got three minutes. Honestly, I don't even care if it's square, just as or round, just as long as it's above the atmosphere, I'll be happy.
please, by the grace of Scott Manley, let me get orbit. second, I think somebody pulled into my driveway. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Maybe. might not have it. I'm getting close, but not quite there. some sort of a uh, stronger kick stage in there. <clears throat> Got very, very close this time. connection. not quite there. together. Okay. So, no connection. Any 
is just burning. Yeah, we're not going to have enough monocrop to make it. Alright, so I guess, I guess let's bail out on that one. Alright, so I guess we need to throw some sort of a, a kick stage in there. So we're going to go to vehicle 10, and I think, I think I want the kick stage in here. So let's see, are there any that will bolt right in? Most. That's way too big. Caster 120 is way too big. Alright, hold on. I think I'm going to go for this one. Unless work? Nah. How about the hammer? Nah, nah, nah. I don't like it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this one. And then on top of that will be this. So, let's run through staging, that one, and then those of course are all fucked up, so that one, then we want those four, and those four, kick the launch clamps out of here, and, well, we're gonna need that one after the launch clamps. So after the launch clamps, we've got those four, and then a little kick stage. I'll tell you what, do it like that. Kick stage, separate that. Oh, fuck me, okay. So, that engine. Needs to go low. Doom, doom, doom. So, RCS. Not, not that. All right, so RCS and need that one. And then I can scoot that one down, but I want the Eulage motors before it. So, Eulage motors, liquid, 
pop it. I guess I can put those in the same. So boom boom, kick stage, pop that, and I'm stuck with RCS. Oh, okay. Save. Build it. Then we're going to make uh, number 11 and build that one. Okay. Let's just speed through this. No upgrades. Roll it out. And launch it. Have that ready. Execute. Stay standing straight up. So I'm going to crack the throttle. Run in. Those full throttle. Ditch the launch clamps. 345, Get it rotate. And we're going to throttle back down. in a hurry. Glad those solid rocket boosters have stopped failing on me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. SRVs, take some more pretty pictures. We'll make a very aggressive turn this time. time. I'm sorry if you can hear the retard outside with his car. 
Hopefully he'll crash it when he gets out onto the main road. one out then light the kick stage and we'll make it pretty with the RCS. My god, I really wish the engines would stop doing that. They make me nervous every freaking time they do it. change that this time. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You prick. Solid rocket motor would fail on me. It's about just my luck. I think we got a solid shot this time, though. Apraps is way up there. Periapsis is. I brought it up quite a bit with the the liquid engine. I'm really hoping we got it. This is about the last attempt that I'm going to be able to make today. Just for the conciseness of time. If that kick stage wouldn't have failed on us, I'd have been fine. But that is all the time I have today. Thank you for watching. I promise next time we will make it to orbit.